Greetings, back again here. And as you can see, I have this uh, Famicom Disk System here. And I've just, uh, just taken the, the top off. But uh, this is the one that I got a few days ago. And as I mentioned when I took it out of the package, the eject button doesn't work properly. And if we take a disk here, and we put that in, uh, no problem, but when we go to take it out here, it gets stuck. Uh, it won't come out and we have to sort of lift this a bit here to get it to pop out. So what I did here is I took the front off and this is just uh, held in place here with these two screws so I'm gonna take those out and we can take this off like so <coughs> now if we look down here we have this uh, piece of metal here and as you can see it's uh, bent downwards here and in sort of an angle up here and that's uh, probably what's causing the problem. Uh, I'm guessing that the, the disc doesn't come high enough to uh, to come out of this opening here. And I have another one here, and if we look at this, uh, you can see here that this uh, piece of metal here, it's straight and it goes straight up there. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, this part off, this piece of black plastic here, and I'm gonna see if I can uh, uh, bend the, the metal back into the right shape. And uh, taking this off is really very simple. You have three springs. There's one there, and another one there, and a third one uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's down here. And you just take those off, and this just comes off very, very easy. And uh, putting the, uh, them back together can be a bit uh, difficult. Now, the two springs on this side, uh, those shouldn't be any problem, but the one here, since you have this uh, piece of plastic in front of it here, can be a little uh, a little tricky but uh, with uh, some patience it shouldn't be any problem so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and see if I can bend that metal piece back to to the, to the right shape alright so I have uh, taken this off here and as you can see I have two of the springs here and I left uh, this, uh, the third one uh, sitting on this uh, hook here and uh, hopefully I can take this uh, small screwdriver here and sort of uh, pick it up by the end here and attach it back to this here but yeah I, I took that off and I've tried to bend this back into shape as, as much as I could here and I just uh, uh, applied some pressure here and at the same time I took this uh, flathead screwdriver and I put it underneath here and I just sort of bent upwards so I think it turned out right and uh, on a side note here if uh, you're going to change the belt in one of these and you have to take this part off here I really suggest that you take this off because it uh, makes it much easier to take this off and put it back on again so you don't have to go in underneath here and, and fiddle so yeah definitely recommend you take that off but uh, anyway I'm gonna put this back together and uh, see if it works 
Alright, so I've uh, put this back here and I've also put the front back on and as uh, predicted it was a bit uh, tricky uh, this uh, spring here it came off at one point so uh, what I did was I hooked it onto the upper part here the black plastic and I held my finger down on it so that it wouldn't fly away if I dropped it and then I took the, the small screwdriver and I managed to get that in here and get a hold of the, the spring and then I sort of pulled it down and hooked it back to the bottom part here. So that uh, took a bit of time but I got everything back together and uh, if we take this disc again here and we put it in and we take it out as you can see here it works uh, perfectly every time so yeah that's uh, that's all I had for you this time just uh, wanted to show you how I fixed this so bye for now and I'll see you soon